Hi guys! Okay, this is our Q&A from TikTok. I can't wait to answer all your questions about making your mark on the world by being joy makers and risk takers. And I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. Okay, here's the first question. You guys asked, where did the name come from? And how do you pronounce it? I know, it's hard. It's Cook. We say Cook. It's my mom's main name, and I named the company after my mom and my grandmother, two of my biggest inspirations in my life because they are strong, independent, amazing ladies. It is hard to pronounce because there's different ways to say it, but we say cook. Next question, when did cook start taking off? So, here is a really fun little story. We have been doing this now for about eight years. We started in a tiny, tiny little office, and then we moved down to Bishop Arts, and we expanded there, and then we moved again, and we expanded there, and now we're at the Cook House. It goes to show you, everything takes so much hard work and dedication and believing in your vision, so don't ever give up because this has taken a long time, but we're so happy to have our Cook community now, and keep at it good things will come. Okay, you guys were asking about who sews our clothing. I love this question because it gets me really excited. We get to talk about the fact that we are made in America. Only 2% of clothing is made here and I'm so happy that you guys buy our clothing and are part of this mission and are part of helping create wonderful companies made in America. There's a fantastic infrastructure of sewers in Texas. We are so lucky to have these workrooms. They are all over the community and we get to go into the workrooms, work with the people. They're part of our family. We're so lucky to have them. You guys were asking about our pricing. The reason that we're expensive is because we are made here in America. It definitely costs more to produce here than it does overseas and we're super proud that we do it here and we love building and making things here with people that are in our community. And really, it's all about building this community so other people can start small companies. It's extremely hard to start a company when you have to have huge, huge numbers, and that's what you need to go overseas. Um, so we're really proud that we make here. I know it's more expensive, but I really believe in the long run that it's gonna be better for women to be able to make and produce things right here in this community and in communities all across the United States. So I'm rooting for all of you to make things and start things and I really appreciate you buying our product. Love this question. Does my family wear my clothing? Yes, yes, check, 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 check. Uh, my mom, who's almost 80, she wears it every single day and she orders almost every piece and every collection. And my son, Henry, wears our tees. And my brother, Eric, also wears our tees. You can catch some fun pictures of him wearing things even on ESPN. And my sister-in-law, Danielle, also wears our clothing. So the whole family participates. Everybody is super supportive and I love seeing everybody in all our stuff. It makes me so happy. Next question is, what's the hardest and most rewarding part of the business? And I'm gonna start with rewarding. It's all of you, our cook community, our mission to get girls to make their mark on the world, to see all of you connecting with us and communicating with us and being part of what we do and what we believe in. That is the reason I come here every day. That's the best part of my job and watching it grow and growing with you guys, that is my purpose. I wanna see you guys go out in the world and be successful yourself and find a purpose and find a mission for your life and have economic independence so you can do the choosing in life. And so that is the most rewarding part. The toughest part is really building a small business it takes a lot of discipline, it takes a lot of belief in yourself, and it's a lot of hard work, but as I like to say, everything's on the other side of hard work. So that part is definitely always moving forward, even when you have challenges. We make a lot of mistakes, we have throughout, Starting the company, you always will. That's what life's about. That can be the fun part if you look at it like a way to learn and grow. But you have to persevere, persevere, persevere. You can never, ever stop and you cannot stop believing in yourself because anything is possible, but it takes a lot of work. But I know you got it in you. As I like to say at our house, be better than normal. Push yourself, push yourself out of your comfort zone. You've got this. 
How do we predict what's trendy? Well, we have an incredible group here. One of my favorite things that we have are all of these young, beautiful, bright minds that work here, and they're always pitching ideas to us left and right at our table, and it comes from them, and it sort of is an organic way of putting together a million different suggestions and coming up with wonderful ideas for each collection. It's one of my favorite parts, and it really takes a village. You guys are asking how we came up with our value system and our ethics for our company, and I love to talk about this. Really, I grew up in a household with my father who really emphasized discipline and hard work, and he also told me, especially as a woman, that anything was possible. There was no one, there was nothing that could stop you if you believed in yourself. He used to say, uh, 98% of people will succeed in this world because of how deep they want something in their soul and how hard they work. So I believed that, that's where it comes from, that's why I believe in all of you, and that's why I'm always pushing you to accomplish great things. Life is short and I want everyone to live one great, beautiful life. And also, I really, really want everybody to feel a sense of happiness when they come to cook. I really want them to feel good. I want people to build other girls up so that they feel good that is one of my main objectives I always say be a force for good and good will come to you you were asking where the inspiration comes for all our designs and again we have an amazing team here we also have all these great summer interns but everybody pitches in we have so many fun meetings talking about these kinds of things but also I always say read 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 um, literature, we get tons of ideas for collections from that, music, art, it comes from all of the things that you open your eyes and you feel and that you see, so make sure you're not always looking at those phones for social media and dive into a book, dive into another place in time and listen to what's going on out there in the world through music and through art and I think you will come up with some great ideas for yourself. Okay, here's our last question. How is Cook working towards female empowerment? I'm hoping, 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 hoping that I am encouraging all of you to try new things. Like I say, it's okay to fail. That means you are pushing yourself and you are trying new things. If you're not failing, you're not pushing yourself hard enough. And we really, truly want you girls to get out there and make and do and create things. Um, that is how I'm hoping that we're empowering you. Please uh, know that we love collaborations. We're working on lots of those. We have an internship program. We're working on that. And also through our cook community, I think that there's great ways to do contests and a lot of our contest winners have gone on and designed things for us that a lot of our interns have gone on and created great companies of their own. So I hope that we continue doing this. I know we will. I hope that you guys are encouraged by this. And if you have any ideas of ways that you want us to uh, do this, let us know because we're always open for it. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for sending all your questions and thank you for being part of our cook community. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video and let us know what are the kinds of things you want to see? I love doing this stuff. I love talking to you guys. I love connecting and I love hearing your ideas. Okay, bye. Huge inspirations to me. I should do that over. <laughs> I know. Take, take two. Um. <laughs> like, it'll be like in the middle. Isn't that our cook pride? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like. And mm, our. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, three. To myself. Um, that's it for our Q&A. <laughs>